Good morning, everyone. Here we are following the pandemic precautions. I hope you are doing the same. Today, I am going to take the practical on the topic of test for hemostasis. So, when the word comes, the test for hemostasis, students remember two major topic is there. One is reading time. Another is clotting time. Method determination of clotting time. Most of the laboratory routinely using this method that is well known as capillary tube method. Apart from this capillary tube method, another method known as Lee White method, it is also known as vein puncture method. So today we are going to use capillary tube method. The principle of capillary tube method is a standard incision is made in the skin or tip of the finger blood is taken into a capillary glass tube the time duration taken for the formation of fibrin thread the interval is reported as clotting time requirement lancet capillary tube timer here the capillary tube has certain characteristic that is 10 to 15 centimeter in length and 1.5 mm in diameter it has without any anticoagulant coated that is important to note here. Normal values. The normal range of clotting time by capillary tube method is 2 to 8 minutes. When we talk about the test for hemostasis or determination of clotting time, we should remember certain things. First is definition for clotting time. What are the coagulation factor or clotting factors which is required for hemostasis there are 13 factors depends upon the examiner you may ask the specific factor you should be able to answer them so the first one fibrin second is prothrombin third is tissue factor fourth is calcium fifth is liable factor sixth is unknown seventh is stable factor eighth is anti hemophilic factor ninth is christmas factor tenth is stewart power factor 11th is plasma thromboplastin antisent 12th is hegemon factor and the last one is 13 that is fibrin stabilizing factor you may ask me sir you given two two option like yes there are another name for certain factor is up to you which one you have to remember which one you have to answer so requirement for Cotton time is spirit cotton, watch, capillary, tubes, and we are required petri dish. Okay, now we will start our blood collection procedure. So, first is what we want to keep the spirit ready and choose the finger. I am going to choose the middle finger, gentle massage, as I said, collection of blood time. Give a gentle massage, don't squeeze gentle massage you give and then take a spirit like this okay and start wipe it just observe what I am doing and how I am doing this is very very important because most of the students doing error here itself okay wipe the tip once you have done don't touch the finger keep this cotton swab in the watch glass don't contaminate your area let it get dried off and meanwhile what I have to do, I have to keep it ready in my capillary tube. So this is the capillary tube. I hope you can able to see. Okay. Two capillary tube I have kept ready for filling the blood. Now I am going to do clotting time. So bold prick we have to do. Don't wipe the first drop and start monitor the time. Try to fill the blood into the capillary tube. See there is no air bubble at all. By practice only you will get. If air bubble comes, you can do like this. Tilt in this manner so that it fills automatically. Okay. See three fourth I have filled. Keep it in the petri dish in this manner. Again pick the another one. Again you start fill the particular tube. By practice only you will get, if air bubble comes, you can do like this, tilt in this manner, so that it fills 
automatically. Once you have filled, immediately you keep it the capillary tube into the palm. You have to wait complete one minute. Why we want to hold like this? We want to hold because to maintain the temperature so that the entire clotting factor gets get activated so that there is no problematic in the formation of fibrin thread. Now I am going to start break my capillary tube every second. 15. So see how, what, how I am breaking. You have to hold like this. Start break. I have to check whether fibrin thread from or not. No, I have not got. And then you have to wait. Carefully you break. Every 15 second we have to break and check the fibrin thread formed or not. In this. Third piece. Now I am going to do fourth break. I hope you can see the fibrin thread. We'll see. It is not coming. Then we will wait. Now the fifth one. We are going to break. Here I caught the fibrin thread. Okay. It is very difficult to show you in the camera. But I will show you in the picture manner. Okay. So now I got whosoever available in the laboratory you have to report immediately then only you will get complete your practical. Once you have completed everything report the particular how many pieces we got we want to note it down. Okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces I have got. Okay in calculation I will show you. So now I am going to Take the calculation part of this particular practical clotting time calculation we are going to see. So now remember one thing, the capillary tube, when you are taking the particular capillary tube, this is 1 mm pore size, 10 cm of the long, this is the capillary tube. So now we are going to see the coagulation time calculation. Okay, in this what we are going to do, there is a one formula like yen we are going to use. N means what number of capillary tube which we have broken. In this practical we got 5 pieces. So this 5 we are going to substitute here that is capillary tube method. Okay. In that coalition time is what? N minus 1. This already I have told you. N is number of capillary tube which we have broken. What is this minus 1? When you break, when you start the filling of this capillary, the blood enters to the capillary complete 3 fourth that entire time required no so one minute we are keeping for filling the capillaries that is this we are minusing that after that once you have filled the capillary we are going to hold in the palm complete one minute that is this okay and every 15 second we are going to break it so that is this 15 so substitute this value 5 will come here minus 1 what is minus 1 time taken to fill the capillary tube plus one minute and here you are having 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds we are going to break the tube. Okay, which tube? This capillary tube. So now you see 5 minus 1, 4 into 15 plus 1 minute. I am repeating 5 where we got number of pieces minus 1. What is this minus 1? Time taken to fill the capillary tube plus 1 complete minute we are going to keep it in your form. Now you substitute this, you will get one value. 5 minus 1, 4. What is this 15? Every 15 seconds we are breaking the particular capillary tube till you get fibrin thread. Okay. So 4 into 15, 60 plus 1. I am going to keep the same only. 16 seconds means what? 1 minute. So I got 1 minute. Still, I have not summated this 2. Now I am going to summit. I will get the value that is 2 minutes. Now the result is what? My coagulation time is 2 minutes. Okay. So 
difference between breeding time and plotting time the breeding time is what that is uh, plated plug formation the tree formation will be there while plotting time is what plotting time require sudden time limits that is called biochemical process okay certain questions comes along with bleeding time and clotting time those are condition in which bleeding time is prolonged in the presence of normal clotting time thrombocytopenia due to any cause maybe dengue such a cases thrombosthenia idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura certain drugs such as aspirin larger dose of penicillin etc vessel wall defect prolonged period of corticosteroids administration deficient of vitamin c so the next one is condition in which clotting time is prolonged in the presence of normal bleeding time hemophilia christmas disease any bleeding disorder in which clotting factors are deficient there are certain other tests is there for bleeding disorders i just highlighted those names you just go through it is there any doubt don't forget to put your question on the comment box once you completed your practical don't forget to discard this whatever the material which you have used and report your technicians or mama whoever available in this particular laboratory thank you so much i will see you in the next practical